Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 15th of 2020. Well, it is titled galaxies in Pegasus. So what do we see here? Well, looking in the direction of the winged horse Pegasus, we see a number of galaxies and the most prominent is a galaxy known as NGC 7331. And that one is the one that stands out towards the upper right side and it is a distinct spiral galaxy and we see the characteristics that we associate with spiral galaxies here. We can see the spiral arms swirling around as we see this in a kind of tilted version not exactly looking face down on it and not looking at it from the edge either. We can also see the blue star clouds of the outer spiral arms which show that stars have formed recently. And that is because those blue stars, the hot blue stars only live a very short period of time, maybe tens, mil tens of millions of years. And in order for us to still see them at this point, they must have formed within the last few uh, million years. Otherwise, they would already be gone. So the fact that we can see them tells us that star formation is still going on here. Now, as we look down towards the lower left, we see a grouping of galaxies known as Stefan's Quintet. So there's five galaxies there very close together and all of them are relatively distorted and that is because they are gravitationally interacting with each other and you can see streamers of material that have been pulled off as the galaxies pass by each other. When galaxies collide, we just get a snapshot because those galaxy collisions can take hundreds of millions of years. So Stefan's Quintet looks the same now as it did with telescopes 100 years ago and as it will look with telescopes 100 years from now. So even though those couple hundred years would be a very long time to humans here on Earth, it is a very short time in considering galaxy interactions like these. So we just get a single snapshot of it. And in order to understand galaxy collisions, we have to look at all sorts of stages of the galaxy collision. And then we can put models together and simulate galaxy collisions on a computer to be able to try to better understand what happens as galaxies will uh, pass close to one another. And essentially their gravitational fields will pull at each other and pull streams of material out. And in the long run galaxies will actually coalesce together and galaxies will collide and merge or smaller galaxies can be cannibalized by much larger galaxies which will eventually happen over much longer periods of time. So that was our picture of the day for October the 15th of 2020. It was titled Galaxies in Pegasus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.